Let's go ahead and play this game and let's get this started and let's see what the world has in store for us. Uh, yeah. Episode one, the first turnabout. Oh, this is the one with the thinker, right? Yeah. Okay. Y yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you, you, you got some paint on there, my friend. Oh. Oh, no, that's not paint. Why are we? I don't know. I can't get caught. Not like this. I don't. I've got to find someone to pin this. Oh my god. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. I don't know what kind of voice to give him. I just met him. <laughs> Child with $2. Thank you. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court defended the lobby number two. Boy, am I nervous. Right! And this is Mia, right? This is the older? Yeah. Okay. She's beautiful. Apparently, the game's a bit loud. The game's a, game's a little loud. I can turn that to my end. Here we go. Out of the park for a second. <laughs> oh, uh, hiya, Chief. Phew. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix. I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. Um, thanks. I think Brian will be voicing people. I just figured Phoenix has, like, the majority of the voice. So I figured I just... Because I'm the voice actor. I mean, I don't mind taking Phoenix off your hands. Do you want to do Phoenix? Because I figured you'd be, like, Miles and Larry. <laughs> I could watch them, too. <laughs> then there's gonna be no because I heard this is a majority male game. <laughs> I can do the males too. <laughs> I'll keep Phoenix for now. If it's gonna be a bottle, okay. Um, uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Technically, that would put you off the that would make you go off the bench. You shouldn't be doing people that you know. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe it's like bias. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You'd have a emotional bias and emotional weight into the game. But yes, actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to. Oh, I want to help him out as any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. <laughs> it's over. My life. Everything. It's all over. Okay, now you're picking into your mic, bring it out a little bit. <laughs> and there's just, it's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I don't know. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair. Oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. <sighs> Nick! Hey, hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give him the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. Well, are you actually legitimately guilty, or is this like your psychosis breaking? Yes. What? Oh, what's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished! I can't live in a world without her. I can't! Whew. Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Aw, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. Oh, well, fuck the media. They always lie. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Wait, hold on. This is Wait, this is his first case. Yeah. And starting off with a murder trial? I guess. Okay, cool. Alright. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. <laughs> Womanizer. <laughs> My best friend since high school since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. 
In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. The case of spilled ketchup! <laughs> and that's just what I'm going to do. Okay. August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Oh. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> you want to take it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. I love that voice. Keep it. The um defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright. Katie, you can do whatever you like to the void. That's because the void and you. Best friends. <laughs> this is your first trial, is it not? No. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, a, a little nervous. And a little green. You ought to clean that up. <laughs> your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. <laughs> For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness, even though this is not something that actually happens in court, so this is literally more yeah, it's a, like, it's a game like, tutorial. You're gonna learn in the trial. I was like, what? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. My hands shaking. My sight fading. Knees weak. Arm spaghetti. <laughs> the test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Larry Butts, womanizer. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Ketchup? <laughs> I saw someone chanting ketchup. I like ketchup? Ooh, I know this one. I'm glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. Is this this? Cindy's opt- Cindy? Uh, time of death at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, 7.31, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Autopsy report. Cause of death, loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Cindy Stone, age 22. Victim of this case, a model. She lived in an apartment by herself. Okay, and why is an attorney's badge evidence? I- what? Why? Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, it's- wait. Uh, oh, oh. No, no way he ever got- I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Uh, of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Uh, temporarily. I, I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press the R button and check it at any time, okay? Don't worry about the meta-ness of my action. Just j go along with it. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Ah, good old Cinderblock. Yeah, you know Cinderblock. Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... A hit with a blunt object. Blood loss due to blunt, blunt force. She was struck once by a blunt object. And what a bitch for going down that easy. <laughs> Love, now. <coughs> you answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. I do! I have a voice in the back of my head and questioning how she died from one bit. <laughs> you seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for, <laughs> good for you. I don't feel relaxed, but sure, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> and that's true. <laughs> well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blood object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? 
the murder weapon was this statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepted into evidence. Statue added to the court record. Okay. The statue of the shape of the thinker is rather heavy. Okay, it looks like a really nice statue. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in this court. Use the R button to check the court record frequently. Again, don't question the meta-ness of my statement. What the hell's an R button? <laughs> Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call his first witness. We haven't even done opening statements yet! Too bad. The prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Okay, you he cannot self- he cannot self- like, there's a term for it. He can't, like, self-prosecute himself. You can't be calling the defendant up onto the stand like that. That's actually a I forgot this is not American law. <laughs> it's not American law. What are you talking about? We're in Japanifornia. <laughs> Japanifornia! <laughs> um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that may help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything... ...unfortunate. <laughs> Well, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. That fucking look- what- bro! Ahem. Uh, Fifth Amendment self-incrimination, thank you very much! Mr. Buds, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Bro, that you're upset about a girl who dumped you? <laughs> hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We're Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. You know Cleopatra and Mark Anthony weren't necessarily the best couple, right? <laughs> um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. So you were being a simp. Is that what you're or saying? Or being ghosted. Ha ha! Ah! <laughs> What's it to you anyway? <laughs> Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. <laughs> In fact, you being a bitch right now. <laughs> she had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean one of them? Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. Okay. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Okay. Passport added to the court record. The victim was apparently arrived home from Paris on... Hold on. July. July, <laughs> July 30th, the day before the murder. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Okay. Dude. No way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. Okay. It appears she had several sugar daddies. Hey, 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 that's a working woman. Shut the fuck up. Wait, like, no, she is a working woman. She's a sugar baby, and sugar babies work for that money. Back off. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who give her money and gifts. You assume it's older men, but I've seen some rich motherfucker, like, young men like try and like start their sugar daddy shit young <laughs> I mean more often than not it's usually the older men since you know they at least they have access to fucking social security and shit fair enough she took their money and used it to support her lifestyle queen just queen get that back dude we can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. She's a working woman, Mr. Payne. Do I have to go in there and add some pain to your nether regions? No, that won't be necessary, especially not in court. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? Hey, little bitch. <laughs> I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Wait and see what happens. Stop him, France. Stop him! Duh! Like, you should make him shut the fuck up! Like, he, he technically shouldn't be answering these questions anyway. He's not technically supposed to be, like, self incriminating. Yeah, besides, isn't this technically badgering the witness? Ex it's badgering! Mary, with a, fi with a $15, you may be a statue, but you will be immortalized as the PNG Marvel! <laughs> Keep reading it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the 15 My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. 
That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof. Wince. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she dog. Hey, hey, hey! I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> Let's continue with the trial, shall we? But you need to shut the butt off. I believe the accused's motive is clear to everyone. It's not. If he had no clue that she was seeing other men, <laughs> there was, the, the motive is very unclear. No, it's pretty clear. <laughs> you, mm, there's court. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Gulp. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. What's I'm gonna to smack you? you over the head, boy. Uh oh, he went. What do I do? <sighs> He's already opened his mouth. There's no point in stopping him. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Order? Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. Objection! Objection! What You enter. The defendant is lying like the bitch he is. <laughs> lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that's a surprise, matters. Who is a witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Larry, what the fuck did you do, man? Like, legitimately, did you fucking do it? Order? Order of the court. I know he didn't do it. I'm fucking around. <laughs> Mr. Pern, the prosecution may call this witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Hold on. From that flashback we saw of the actual murderer, a guy in a suit selling newspapers? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Please bring Mr. Frank Sight to the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sight, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? How much information do I have? I know that this is the tutorial. I know the thinker statue is involved. I know that. Almost Christmas is not Christmas. I know Larry Butts, womanizer. I know... The autopsy report will always be updated, no matter what. So never trust the autopsy report. <laughs> and that there are crazy fucking people, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, oh yes. N newspapers, yes. Mrs. Hart, you may proceed with your testimony. Please the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Witnesses account. Okay. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I mean, they technically don't move when they're dead, but moving on! I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't work. Hold on. How would you know her phone wasn't working if you didn't step into the apartment? Do you have, like, extendo arms or something like that? I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was one p- Hold the fuck up. Wait, hold up. Hold the fuck up. It's 4 p.m. How the fuck do you find a body at 1? What the fuck? 
<laughs> this is what the cross examination is for. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm moving on. I'm, I'm a dog and rope of it. I, I do things like it's like because we we're, we're 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 trained to like just call it out when we see it. Like no, stop, stop, fuck you. <laughs> The man who ran was without a doubt to the defendant sitting right over there. Mm. He's Steve from Minecraft. He can reach 16 feet. <laughs> Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawyer used was one of those. I see a wire, very, very small wire, uh, actually attached. To the, oh, wireless cordless, as in uh, from the from the receiver itself. Okay, got it. I'm like, there's a wire right there, motherfuckers. What are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. You think those phones run on solar energy or something? You know, apparently we don't go through the normal legal system here, so I have to question everything at this point. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout at for your per perusal. Perusal. There you go. Electricity to Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. the day of the crime. Okay. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. All right. Cross-examination, Your Honor. All right, right, this is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. He seemed like an honest and trustworthy guy. Totally, he totally saw it. <laughs> or is your client really guilty? Uh, pfft, I messed up. You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony there's... to the evidence in hand. Huh? I think there's a option to see the dialogue. Options. Never mind. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, okay. So it just makes me change the controller. Never mind. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradiction, contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Open the court record with the R button, then point out the contradictions in the testimony. Okay. So yeah, literally, it's literally the exact same dialogue, so you don't have to read it. You could just find the statements that you know, you immediately can tell, like, there's something fishy with that, and that's where you press it. Okay. All right, so going uh, on. Okay, that's not. heard blah 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 blah. Thinking it's strange. Looking inside the apartment. Blah blah blah. Sorry, I'm going to Quite fright. Unable to go inside. Thought to call the police immediately. Is there a way to press information out of uh, yeah, press that, evidence? That that's what the L is for, to, like, question that statement, while present is to contradict it with the evidence. Yeah. The phone in the apartment wasn't working? Yes, I mean, no. I No, it wasn't right. But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Oh, oh, that. I, I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? Okay, so it, it's within arm's reach. Okay, so that okay that that tracks. One p. <sighs> no. You'll be able to press it later because I don't think you have any evidence. That's to... right there. The autopsy report. She was dead at four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. No, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece. Of... I can't represent. Oh, <laughs> wrong bit. <laughs> you found the body at one p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1pm, for sure. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report, and if it updates, I swear to god I'm gonna chop kick someone. <laughs> the autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4pm. There was a nobody to, uh, no body to find at 1pm. How do you explain this three hour gap? 
<laughs> oh, that. Uh, oh, uh, mm. <laughs> This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. I That's literally just didn't. asked if he could confirm. <laughs> Wait, what? It's like, except he didn't. He said he remembered exactly. After his testimony. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Sorry, my balls kind of went up uh, my chest a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you'll see that, Doc. <laughs> Mr. Sarge, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, mm, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, Bright. Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Okay. Wait! I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? I don't think you can in court. You shouldn't be able to up... At that point, you're... It's reasonable doubt. Yeah, at that point, it's reasonable doubt, and Butts is free to go. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. Wasn't there a blackout? That's why I thought one... Yeah, there's, there's a blackout, dude! Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. You're full of shit! There was a blackout! You're full of shit! Mm, I see. I see. <laughs> you heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. That's bullshit! Miss Wright, you may cross-examine the witness while I eat some nuts. Yeah, see, th yeah, literally everyone yells objection, I yell BULLSHIT! <laughs> I just need, I need the expletive, like, someone needs to make it, no, I'll make it. I'll fucking make the Ace Attorney, like, objection, it's just BULLSHIT! <laughs> right? You know what to do. I've got this one. Yeah, you're, you're full of shit, my dude. Uh, all right. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're full of shit. You're fucking full of shit. Objection! Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. <laughs> I will. <laughs> the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sot? No, I, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Wait. Ah. <laughs> wait, wait, I remember now. Mr. Sot? Again, at this point, it would be reasonable doubt. <laughs> the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. I don't know why we're letting you re- uh, testify for like a third time. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> my, my apologies, your honor. It uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sot. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Even though, again, this really shouldn't be happening at all, but... Reasonable Japan doubt! <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Okay, first you said you heard it. Like, first you said 1 p.m. Then you said you heard it. Now you say you saw it? Get this fucker off of the stand! It's reasonable fucking doubt it has! There was a table clock in the apartment, it wasn't there. Y yeah, the murder weapon! The killer used it to hit the victim. Wait, the murder weapon? Wait. What? That must have been what I saw. What? You saw a clock. I guess it would explain it. Mm, Hold on, nuts. wait. Is this also a clock? Because he keeps saying he saw the time on this. Is this a clock? Because for me, it looks like one of those things you put your dollar bills into the slot and you're just saving money in the little dollar bill slot thing. So it's not like a little bank and all that stuff? Okay. The defense may cross examine the witness. Gladly. Okay, hearing the time. 
actually, actually, didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there? Oh. I just need to hear it. Table clock? Was there a clock in the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. How do you know that? The murder weapon? Yes, the table clock was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you just off the middle button? I'm just trying to clarify things. Something's fishy. Yeah, like. Uh, hold on. Oh, I see. Oh, hello. Hmm. How do I? How do I present this? Hmm. I think it's here. It's this? So yeah, this? Objection! Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? <laughs> you, you, you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw it. Hey, I I saw it there, okay? That's a clock! Your Honor, if I may... Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. Okay, th that's information we need to know! The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. Wait, you tilt it and it says the time out? It doesn't actively, like... It's not a passive thing. It's not like it tells the time as it happens. Yeah, you gotta. You, you, you gotta, gotta move it in order to. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, I get it! I got it! I got it! As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. That I can say right now? With the evidence I have. Yeah, because... He said he saw it, but he just said... But we just clarified that you have to hear it. He said he, he did say in his first uh, testimony that he heard the time. Yeah, but in this testimony he said he saw it. Well, he's trying to cover up his tracks. So, yeah, I do have a problem with this testimony, then. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet, the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Mm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... He went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah, prove it! Prove it I went in there! I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Bro, you don't just say that automatically! Hold it straight! Hold on! You struck her with a clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned in your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Wait, yelling! You know, if he was smart, he would have used the base of the, the clock instead. Crime of passion. Yeah. What's the meaning of this? This is how baseless conjecture. There's reasonable doubt in your guy's testimony, and yet you're saying this is baseless conjecture. Go fuck yourself. No, go fuck yourself. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. It's so baseless, it's cringe. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I don't think he's going to say yes. I, 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 that, that, that day, I, I never. 
Look, look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, <laughs> oh my f- Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you! It, it was him, I tell you, I saw him! He, he killed her, and he should burn! Burn, give him death! That's disgusting, my dude! Order, order in the court, I say. Your Honor, uh, uh, a moment, please. I don't get a moment with my defendant, go fuck yourself! There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Then get this guy out of the stand for a reasonable doubt! Mr. Wright? Your Honor? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Although Case is writing on this, I'd better think it through carefully. Y Your Honor, the sound Mr. Shaw heard was definitely from this clock. The fact of which is clear if you simply... Try sounding the clock. Just turn it! Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh-oh, what's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? Who the fuck would change the time? Who the fuck would change the time? When would the time get changed, my dude? I want you to explain to me in your theoristic, like, reasonable doubt mind ass. Who the fuck would change the time the day of the murder just to have it be three hours slower, you fuck? If you can't move that, you just have... I was so close. You are like, it's, oh my God, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I need that. I, I really need that. Mace Attorney explicit bullshit. <laughs> it seems you like the critical evidence to support your claim. <laughs> You're full of shit. This is full of shit. Yes. No, Your Honor. But yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank saw it. No, I wanna piss on his fucking toupee! I mean, you never gave it back, so you technically still can right there. <laughs> I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens! You treat me like a criminal! A criminal! You lawyers are all the slime! Urgh, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. No, you didn't! I'm sitting here wondering what the fuck! <laughs> we literally sat here in three cross-examinations is proving reasonable doubt! And then here it goes with this bullshit! If you can't prove that it's time is Fuck you, dude! I'm gonna fucking piss on your poop hey. There's nothing I can do about it now. Yes, there is! Not so fast, Mr. Sawit! Mia, thank you so much for stepping in. Mia, I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, ch Chief, it's over. I can't. It's prove. over. 
<laughs> I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think it through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock could be three hours slow? Yes, actually. What's the time difference between... Okay, first question. Where the fuck is Japan of... Japan of California? Japan of Fornia? In comparison to the rest of the world. And what's the time difference between here and France? What's the time difference? Because if I'm thinking like American time, like... Between Pacific and Eastern, it's three hours. So, if we have three hours... It would be the same thing. Yeah, it's currently 1 in the morning in France. Okay. Compared to our 6 p.m. time zone. Japanifornia is just California, but Japan had more influence in this universe and culture. I'm thinking it's the three-hour difference. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, there is. Wait. Maybe I can move. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright... You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Ah, tough words! Let's see you pull this one off! Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Passport! Paris! Hello! Good morning! Three hours slow, or... If it's not three hours slow... That would be the remaining time. So that would be 12 minus 3. So 9 hours fast? Yeah, this one. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9... 9 hours! 9 hours fast! But it's 4 p.m. here. It's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow. It was 9 hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the, her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It. Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> well, order. Order, I say. Well, in this case certainly has turned out differently than we all expected. A little bit. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, uh, <laughs> he, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor, even though I... Can, <laughs> can that happen in court? Yeah, you, yeah, they can uh, arrest who they need to. It would be up to the judge, no, not prosecutor. Okay. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Yeah, that's why if you, it, This isn't advice, but if you murder someone, you probably shouldn't be the witness of the moita. <laughs> Just saying. Also, it's almost like we're in a video game. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. Yay! Who the fuck put confetti in the courthouse? Right? Like, do you know how many janitors has to clean that up? And with that, this court is adjourned. Cool, we did it! That was a tutorial. Now, how many autopsy reports is going to change before we get to the end of this thing? Thankfully, just one. <laughs> it turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day... When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Oh. So that's what happened. 
Ye. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, defense, uh, defendant lobby number two. Ooh, I still can't believe we won. Right! Good job in there. Congratulations. Th th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. What the- what do you mean?! Larry, you, you're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now?! Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry, Bummy. I'll be dead and gone soon. Larry, I'm gonna smack you over the head. Good, wait, no, no, I'm- Bad, 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 bad! Larry, you're innocent, the case is closed! But- But my Cindy- I'm not fucking saying that. My Cindy Windy's a- <laughs> Go ahead. Gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was- <sighs> Never mind. Congratulations, Harry- <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Harry. H Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. Innocent. Butts. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. Jesus Christ. I won't forget this. Ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Or, you know, how about you pay the attorney fee? Oh, no, I, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. Why would I want the murder weapon? A present for me. Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. R really? You? You made this? Somehow. Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to just cry? Sob. Larry. <sighs> Are you so sure? Excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you, in her own way. Nah, you're not gonna sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? The something attorney bill? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? The attorney bill? <laughs> yeah, right, the attorney bill, right? Uh-oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? That she had the statue in the first place. She literally kept your gift. She didn't sell it. Take that! Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. All of that made him feel a little better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People. Too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Hear. Feel. <laughs> think. Mommy! <laughs> Dude, what the Bro, fuck? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey, how about dinner? On me. We'll drink a toast into innocent butts. Yeah! 
Oh, uh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe... over drinks? Is she? Is she coming on the right? Bruh! And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock that he gave me. <sighs> I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Is Mia gonna die? What do you mean the end? I just started the game! <laughs> what do you mean the end? I just started! Oh. Yeah.